Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Report number 26277 Class Alpha State Massachusetts Observed I and my girlfriend were riding in my Jeep on Route 140 from New Bedford to Freetown tonight, July 14, 2009, and at about 11, my girlfriend saw this large brown hair covered man standing up from a crouch position on the side of the two-lane highway. She lets out a scream, prompting me to look at the creature standing there. He made fluid movements like a man and had an almost ape-like quality. We couldn't see his face, but upon returning to the area, we saw the man there was nothing. After calling 911 and telling them that someone was running in the median of the highway, they told us that they had similar reports of what we saw on the stretch of highway between Exit 7 Braley Road and Exit 8 Chase Road. They then told me that they were sending state troopers to investigate. Also noticed, nothing out of the ordinary other than the man on the side of the road. I couldn't hear anything because my radio was on and because of the road noise. Other witnesses, as far as I know, too, myself looking straight ahead driving and my girlfriend also looking straight ahead but scanning the sides of the highway looking for any animals. There were other cars on the road that night. However, just behind me was a small pickup truck with a lone male occupant who passed me in a hastily manner after my sighting. Other stories? No, I have not. Time and conditions, approximately 11 p.m., clear night sky, stars and moon visible. Only other light was from my headlights and the headlights of other motorists. Environment, typical southern New England forest on the left and right of the highway. Median was just grass, but it did dip down in the middle to allow for drainage. Siding was near a power line access road. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator D.A. Brake, Ph.D. The driver was phone interviewed approximately three weeks after submitting the report. The girlfriend did not want to talk about the incident since the memory of it still upsets her. A 30-minute inquiry and site visit to the specific area of the sighting provided some additional details summarized below. The witness was driving northbound and traveling approximately 70 miles per hour in the left lane closest to the divided highway median. The depressed grass median between exit 7 and 8 of the north and southbound lanes is approximately 40 yards wide. The witness stated that the animal had a wide midsection covered in brown body hair, darker brown, long arms, and was approximately 7 to 8 feet tall based on the height of a highway mile marker that was just adjacent to where the animal was standing. The witness also stated that the animal had a long chiseled jaw. The total duration of the sighting was approximately 3 seconds from the time the witness turned his head and first saw the animal until his car passed the creature. As his car passed the animal, which was standing only three to four feet to the left of the hood of his jeep, the witness reported having a scared sensation and noted that the animal had one arm down and the other arm up in a bent position as if getting ready to cross the northbound lane. The witness exited the highway approximately two miles north of the siding and traveled back southbound to the point of the siding but did not see anything unusual. Although the placement of the 911 call by the witness was not confirmed, the witness reported that he subsequently had an informal discussion of the sighting with a friend who is a Massachusetts state trooper, whom was on call that night. The police officer told him that the local dispatcher did receive several related calls around the same time that evening and he and several other troopers responded to the call and arrested several teenagers who were in the general area. However, 
Upon receiving this information, the witness remained steadfast in his belief that what he saw was not a teenager playing a prank. The location of this sighting is immediately west of the Bolton Cedar Swamp, recognized as an important conservation land tract comprised of wetlands, ponds, bogs, and acidic swamps vegetated with Atlantic white cedar, pitch pine, and scrub oak. The sighting occurred approximately 14 miles north of report number 25364 and approximately three miles southeast of the eastern border of the Freetown Fall River State Forest. This state forest marks the western point of the Bridgewater Triangle, an area of approximately 200 square miles that has had numerous reports of paranormal activity dating as far back as 350 years when Native American tribes and colonists co-inhabited the area. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help.